The Meghalaya Chief Electoral Officer's office has been holding several musical shows like this one to inspire voters to vote ethically in next month's state polls. But for politicians, it's a game of musical chairs. Of the total 60 legislators in the state, a third have resigned and joined other parties in the past couple of months. Last year, 12 Congress MLAs in Meghalaya joined the TMC, led by former Chief Minister Mukul Sangma, making TMC the main opposition party overnight. But over the past one month, the exits and entries have become an epidemic. One Nationalist Congress Party leader joined Congress. Two National People's Party leaders joined BJP. One National People's Party leader joined TMC. One TMC leader joined the BJP. One TMC leader joined United Democratic Party. Two TMC leaders joined the National People's Party. One independent leader joined the BJP. Two People's Democratic Front leaders joined the National People's Party. Three suspended Congress leaders joined the National People's Party. Two suspended Congress leaders joined United Democratic Party. One KHNAM leader joined Voice of the People Party. One HSPDP leader joined National People's Party. One HSPDP leader joined United Democratic Party. One independent leader joined United Democratic Party. Prominent Meghalaya leaders like four-time independent MLA Samuel Sangma joined the BJP. The longest serving woman legislator and former Congress Minister Dr. Amparin Lingdo joined the NPP. Three-time MLA and Sharad Pawar's NCP's state president, Saling Sangma, joined the Congress. And cabinet minister, Rennington Lingdo, joined the UDP from HSPDP. The NPP, against all odds, has led this coalition. In its leadership in this coalition, it has brought out some very productive schemes and policies in the interest of the people and the state of Meghalaya in general. Now, when you see that there are so many positives, we decided, along with a consultation, extensive consultation with the people of my constituency. We could see that if we really want to strengthen regional party in the state of Meghalaya, there is no option. UDP is the only option which we think it is possible to strengthen regional party in the state of Mexico. So that was the main reason I have opted to join UDP, to work with UDP, because I still want to respect the call of the people to strengthen regional party in the state of Mexico. Now NCP, had, I just had only one and then I've been talking about the NCP and trying to you know, make their presence felt every now and then. And till the last breath, I have already talked about the NCB, right? So it's not about anything. It's not about the board bank, this and that. It's about me, myself, and my people, okay? And then with the Congress, at least we can work together. And the objective of joining the Congress is for the people, not for me. One TMC leader left the party after getting a ticket to stay away from mudslinging politics, he says. The reason is that uh, we just want to refrain ourselves from mudslinging politics and we want to promote constructive politics and we have full faith and confidence on ourselves. Meghalaya's politics is as unpredictable as its weather and perhaps the roots of this uncertainty lies in the political history of the state. Since the 70s, only once did any political party achieve absolute majority in the state polls. Until now, only three chief ministers have been able to complete full term in office. Otherwise, hung assembly and political switchovers have been the main feature of Meghalaya politics and it seems this time is no difference. With Panchali Bhattacharjian Shilong in Guwahati, Ratnadeep Chaudhary, Findy TV.